Hello and welcome to another Ubuntu Cloud screencast. In this screencast, I will be presenting an innovative Ubuntu Cloud technology, namely Cloud Init for initializing Ubuntu Cloud images. Let me give a quick background. When you start Ubuntu Server on the EC2 Cloud, you're starting or instantiating a virtual server that's copied from an AMI image, which basically is a generic minimal Ubuntu server. Thus, once you start your own server from this image, you're going to want to customize it to its final purpose, which means you're going to want to install software, create users, import SSH keys, configure servers, run shell scripts, etc. This is precisely what CloudInit helps you do. CloudInit can do lots of different tasks, however, for the screencast I'm only going to show CloudConfig, which is a way to instruct CloudInit to configure the server just the way you want it pretty easily. Let's take a look at a CloudConfig example file. That's an example file of cloud config. Here we pass different commands to cloud init to instruct it on how to configure the server. So for instance, we mentioned that we want to update the server. We want to run apt get upgrade. We mention any software packages that we would like to install as the server boots. So for instance, I'm starting a generic Ubuntu server and I want to make it an Apache server. So I want to install Apache. Um, for instance, I also want to install rsync, say, because I want to copy content from another server. I also mentioned that I would like to import the SSH IDs of various different users. What this does is that it goes to Launchpad, it copies the public keys of the users mentioned, in this case myself and my colleague Daniel, and copies those public keys to the Ubuntu server such that once the server boots, I'm able to SSH automatically uh, using my launchpad key. I can also embed the keys directly in this file. Another thing I can do is that, you know, uh, I, I can start Biobo by default uh, for all system users. I like it, so I'm going to leave this one uh, enabled. Um, after that, you can also, you know, you use the run command module to run various commands arbitrarily on the server as it boots. So in this case, I'm going to um, download some content from our favorite slash dot. I'm also going to write uh, this content to var dub index html. Um, and I'm going to test that I can actually see this content once the web server is running. So let, let's, let's quickly recap. Once the server boots, it's going to upgrade itself, it's going to install Apache, it's going to enable Biobo, it's going to add the SSH keys of myself and Daniel, and it's going to download some content into the var dub directory. Um, in this case, it just you know echoes a few text yeah, inside a text file, but you know you can you can rsync from another server, or you can download more uh, more generic uh, content. So let's flip over to the Amazon web interface, the Amazon console. Um, I've skipped a few steps of the Amazon wizard for starting the Ubuntu server. Um, however, this screen is of particular interest. Um, this screen uh, is where you specify the user data that you would like to pass to the virtual machine as it boots. I'm going to copy the, uh, the cloud config file that we just saw and paste it right here. As you can see, this is the same um, cloud config file that we showed earlier. Um, and then I'm going to start the instance. Once the instance is created, it's, um, it's going to download the cloud config and cloud init is going to act on it. It's going to install the software, uh, import the SSH keys, um, and so on. So that's the instance that we are running right now. Um, let's copy the, um, the public DNS name. Now this is going to take a few minutes for CloudInit to actually upgrade the server, install the package and do all the magic. So I'm going to pause recording right now and continue um, in, in five minutes. All right, CloudNet should have finished by now. So let's SSH into the server. Yes. 
Awesome. As you can see, uh, the Biobo interface has been started, which is the, uh, the modifications to GNU screen that we have here. Uh, so it seems our customizations have worked. Let's check a few things. Um, let's spin the authorized keys file. So indeed, um, CloudGinit has imported my SSH ID. I have a couple of them. And um, Daniel's keys, again, a couple. And then the keys we mentioned specifically. Okay, so that part seems to have worked just fine. So let's see if um, Apache is actually installed. Okay, great. It should have also downloaded the copy of slash dot inside the temp directory. That's awesome. Um, let's check the var dub, the var dub dub file. Okay, that's great. Let's see if we can connect through the web interface. Ah, great. So basically everything works. So what happened is, you know, let's recap. Cloud init started uh, with the server boot. It downloaded our instructions, and then it started acting on them. It installed different packages. It started uh, and, and installed and started Apache. It imported my SSH keys. It ran several different arbitrary commands. You know, in, in this case, just downloading slash dot and writing some text in text file. But in real life, this could be syncing content from another web server, configuring your database, you know, restoring your backup. Uh, which is a very good, you know, this is really the kind of thing that we that you need to do in order to start using cloud instances or cloud servers in a disposable manner or, or in, in, in an automatically scalable manner. So I hope that was useful. Until next screencast, goodbye.